Hey there, I'm back. It's uh, been a little while. I know I pretty much look exactly the same as my last video. Um, <laughs> but it's actually now March 20, 21st. It is uh, in the midst of this stupid coronavirus deal. Um, anyways, enough with that garbage. I've been working on the brake booster job and it's going it's gone pretty well i think i'm pretty much done with it it's been a, a little bit of a hassle getting all the fittings and everything the way i, the way I needed and to get it sealed up and <clears throat> it's just a big machine to be bleeding the brakes all by yourself it's a lot of a lot of walking <laughs> i guess exercise is a good way to think of it but anyways i've Got that uh, kind of buttoned up and I've done a few other things, so I think I'll point those out and we'll um, talk about some other stuff I'm working on. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell to receive notifications when more of my videos are available to watch. So I think you'll recognize this you can see i now have um this fitting in place as well as uh this one um ended up working out pretty well as far as getting it mounted in there i did have to have this port down here uh drilled out just went to a quarter npt since this thing was already a had an eighth inch npt coming in the bottom there uh, so took a little bit of cranking to get that thing to silly Teflon tape to seal up under pressure. Now you can see here, I now have a, just a regular, um, uh, bolt there with a copper washer underneath it to seal that end hole and got all the, the hoses back in place. You can see that one down there and whoop. That guy right there, are all back in place. And so it's pretty much all back together and, you know, works pretty good. Got a pretty, pretty solid pedal. Um, takes a little bit of pumping up after it's been sitting a little bit. So there must be some, some air in there somewhere, but we'll get her worked out. <clears throat> um, what else have I done? Oh yeah, um, so I replaced the oil on the transmission um, as well as the rear, the rear differential. Um, I took more oil than I thought. It took, geez, like three and a half or four gallons. But as you can see, that's a pretty big, pretty big rear differential there. So doing, you know, pouring 90 weight oil in cold weather is kind of a slow go but we got her done so yeah and this one down here you can see see the drain plug down there in the bottom so i got that done um what do i'm working on next just trying to trying to get some more things shored up on this thing i think i'll do just some basic maintenance you know you can see on these the belts here they're pretty you know this belt here runs the runs the fan up there for the the radiator um and of course you got the two the two belts there that run the um alternator and water pump that need need a little attention they're still they're still kicking along but they're pretty pretty uh tired i don't know about the probably be good to replace plugs and distributor and all that stuff but i guess we'll go one step at a time there's a lot of got to kind of pick and choose what to fix on this thing because between time and money i <laughs> can't do it all um so yeah that's kind of where i'm at with this at the moment um it's going pretty good i think i'll probably try to get the side racks on here pretty soon uh it looks like when when i bought it the guy had to kind of must have busted off there's supposed to be a nut welded on right here um 
end right here that must have come off when he was trying to loosen up those rusty old old things so i got to get those welded back on i don't know if i don't have a welder here at the moment um, but my neighbor can weld pretty well so i may just drive it up there there's other things that need done like the the brake lights and tail lights don't work and <laughs> all those odds and ends here you can see how those nuts are whoops sorry here you can see how those nuts are welded on um so i need to get that get that done so i can put those side racks on um but yeah basically just trying to get it in as good a shape as i can before i need to use it and we'll we'll get there but i still haven't replaced the seat i need to get that done kind of dreaming up you know once i get the the window i suppose getting a windows step one i guess wasn't exactly obvious this window is missing so i need to get that fixed i think it must have been a, some sort of sliding window but anyways i was kind of thinking about how i could rig up an air conditioner on this thing like keep that cab from just being 150 degrees in the summertime but we'll see that seems like maybe a nice to have but not necessity so anyways that's what i'm working on thanks for watching